Hello and welcome to Sunday School, Journey Through the Colors of the Rainbow. And we're looking at families. When you think of a family, what do you think of? Maybe you think of your parents or your grandparents. That's called immediate family. We also have different kinds of families. We have extended families, and this is your aunts and uncles and cousins. We also have our church family. Those are the people you go to church with. Families are really great. But did you know we have one more family that we're a part of? We're a part of God's family. Yeah, that's pretty great to be part of God's family. So as we enter into our Sunday School lesson today, let us light our candle, reminding us that we are part of God's family. We are beloved children, and God is always with us. Let's pray. Gracious God, thank you for this day, and thank you for our Sunday School lesson. We pray that you would bless our teachers, our parents, our aunts, uncles, grandparents, brothers and sisters, and all of our family, and all the people we're in your family with, dear God. Bless us in our Sunday School lesson, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Have a great Sunday School lesson, and we'll see you next week. Bye. This is one of our parable boxes. Parables are old. I wonder what is inside of this box. This box is gold. Parables are valuable. Maybe even more valuable than gold. Hmm, did you notice? Look, this lid has a box. I know, lots of boxes have lids. But so do parables. Sometimes, even when you're ready, you can't enter inside of a parable. The lid is like a door. Sometimes it's closed. If that happens, don't get discouraged. Just come back and try the parable again another day. This box looks like a present. Parables are presents. They were given to us before we were born. Even if you did not know what a parable is, it has still been given to you. I've opened our parable box today. Are you ready to come inside and see what's in there with me? I'm gonna slide it over. Ooh, what's this? It's a sunny day here. I wonder what this could be. Oh, it's big and it's yellow and it covers almost our whole space. It looks a little bit like a lemon. I wonder what it could be. It does look a lot like a sunshine. Hmm. A lemon drop? Do you remember those candies? Mmm, I love a lemon drop. Let's see if there's anything else that could help us get ready. Hmm. Nope, there isn't anything else. All we can do is begin. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. And as they followed him, they heard him speaking of a kingdom, but not like an ordinary kingdom. It wasn't even like an imaginary kingdom. It wasn't a kingdom they had ever heard of. They couldn't help it. They asked him, what is this kingdom? This kingdom of heaven like? One time when they asked him, he said, the kingdom of heaven is like a little tiny mustard seed. See? It is the tiniest of all seeds. A seed so small that if I had one on my finger, you would not be able to see it at all. But if you put it in the ground, it would 
begin to grow. To grow and grow and grow. The little seed grew so big that it was like a tree. And when the tree came, the birds of the air came. And they would make their nests there. I wonder if the person who put the tiny seed in the ground has a name. I wonder if the person was happy that the birds came to live on the tree. I wonder if the person was sad when the birds flew away. I wonder if the person was happy when they came back and made nests. I wonder if the birds have names. Hmm. I wonder if the person could take the whole tree and push it back down into a tiny seed. I wonder if the tree was happy that it became, or if the seed was happy that it became a tree. I wonder what this tree could really be. I wonder what this place would be like. Hmm. And that is the parable of the mustard seed. I hope in a few minutes you'll be able to enjoy the activities that are prepared for you today and that you might one day want to take this parable and tell it to a friend. Okay. Hi everybody, this is Coach Julie from Northminster. We're going to do a craft today. Uh, we're going to be talking about orange, doing a craft with orange uh, for the orange from the rainbow. Um, so we're going to be making an orange, kind of a stained glass flower. So I've got uh, these two orange pieces and I just um, Googled coloring, flower coloring pictures. Uh, online and it uh, doesn't matter if you find these ones you can find any one so I like I said I have two of them and I just cut out the, the pieces that will be the, the petals and then we're going to make uh, this kind of thing um, it's kind of a stained glass effect I've done this craft many times over the years with my kids in my in my kids own class and it's always a lot of fun uh, so, so after you've cut out the, the flower pieces, you just take some wax paper, a couple of pieces of wax paper, like this, and then you take a crayon, whatever color, orange in this case, and a grater, and you just grate up the pieces. Um, it, it gets very staticky, so just be prepared for that. Um, you don't need very much. So I've just got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've just got just a few little pieces of, of orange wax in there. And And then you just put it, dribble it onto the wax paper. 
You don't need very much. If you want a really solid orange color, you might want a little bit more, but I kind of like it when it's, when it's like this piece. Just sort of some shading to it and kind of marbling to it. Looks, looks kind of nice. This is fun to do. Um, another, if you want to do it another time with all different colors of crayons, we've done that many times. Now that's fun. If you, if you put too many colors in there, you just kind of get a sort of a brown black mixture. So that, that doesn't work so well, but it's, it's fun to just put just a little bit of, of different colors in there. Okay. So I've got my, my wax bits on the wax paper and I put the other piece of wax paper on top. So I've got my iron, um, I, I drained out all the water and I turned it to dry and I've got it set on fairly low setting. This iron has five settings and I set it to number two. So it's not too, too hot. And then you just um, iron it to melt all that wax. So you just kind of use the tip to, um, melt that wax and just go over it pretty gently. And just, um, just melt all that wax. And spread it around as, as much as you want to. Okay. So the piece that I have this time looks like that. Um, it's even more spread out than the other one, which is okay. Looks kind of neat. Okay, and then I'm gonna take um, my flower pieces and put one down like that. And then, and I'm just gonna go around it with glue. Um, I think I'm gonna use the paper towel underneath to kind of protect my ironing cover a little bit. So I'm just gonna uh, get some glue on that flower shape. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my wax paper on top of that. Okay, so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna put the next piece on top, match up all the, the shapes of the petals, and I'm gonna turn it over and put glue on the back of that to glue this piece on. Well, that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it dry for a little while and then I'll cut around the edges. And then I was thinking when that's done, I was thinking I was gonna put an orange ribbon on it and you can hang it in the window. Now this is kind of a Mother's Day craft. So maybe you can give this to, to mom or grandma or whoever you would like. Okay, I hope you have fun with our stained glass flower and happy Mother's Day to all the moms and grandmas out there. Thank you. Bye for now.